Are you an Uncle Creepy fan? I am, yeah, I really am. He's, you know, he's got that spirit and essence of, of a fighter, and I like the way that he expresses it physically. He's an interesting character, and uh, I'd like to see him do well, especially guys who came up, you know, this was one of the real important guys at 125 pounds coming up pre-UFC, and those guys you want to see get their real, get their real due. Uh, and then you, you see a guy like that take all those setbacks, between fights and stuff, it must be very frustrating. And, you know, you hope that you can go out there and just have his fight and enjoy it and, and enjoy, not feel the pressure of it, of all these things. Go out, have a great one, and then get a couple more in there and get back, you know, uh, upper car, uh, parts of cards and people excited to see him fight again. Uh, but it's a challenge. You know, there's young guys, you don't know who they are and what they do. And we know how good some of these kids coming out of gyms are. And, and that's what I want to talk about because, you know, it seems like, well, Ian McCall, he's faced the best yeah. fighters in the world. He's faced Demetrius yeah. Johnson. He fought to a draw against Demetrius yeah. Johnson. So... What is this young 23-year-old? But as we've seen, the sport evolves so quickly. And I could see if this guy was just a, a submission specialist or a knockout artist, and he has 12 knockout victories. But this guy's gone the distance, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times yeah. in 12 fights. He's 23. He's fought in Japan. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's yeah, gone into yeah. enemy territory yep. before. And the guy that he fought in Japan, Jun Nakamura, he He's, was yeah. undefeated as yeah. well at the time. So it, it seems like it really is a different time in mixed martial arts. Uh, these guys that have, have been in the game for a long time, like Ian McCall, before he made his way to the UFC, he was fighting for Tachi, yeah. uh, Tachi fights, which was considered the home yeah. of the 125. Just like division. WEC yeah. was, you know, Uriah really was the world champion exactly at 145 pounds because he was the WEC champion. Tachi Palace was the world title yeah. at 125 pounds. It really was. So uh, Ian McCall made his debut in 2002. Now in 2017, Jesus. you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that. It is an advantage. You know, old dogs and new tricks and all those kinds of things are, are at play too. But man, you know, if he can just walk out and it's just going to a cage to do some mixed martial arts, something he's done a lot, a lot of times for a long time. But didn't and hasn't he done the old is. version of it? Yeah. Isn't there's this new version? It's like, oh yeah, right. There's yeah. this new stuff now I have to deal well, with. Well, the upside is at 125. It's not quite. A lot of the new was the bigger guys starting to understand the 25 game. You know, that that l way on the outside, blitzing, off-time blitz, drawing out, getting you stable and, and beating you by a second and, and s tons and tons of mobility. A lot of the what we see as the new was pioneered by the 125er. So it's less weird and unpredictable and uncomfortable to Ian than it would be to a 185-pounder who started in 2002. Uh, Ian McCall went the distance with the, the guy hasn't been finished. Uh, went the distance with Dominic Cruz at WEC 38. Uh, went the distance twice with Demetrius exactly. Johnson. Went the yeah. distance with Joseph Benavidez. Yeah. And went the yeah. distance with John So Lineker. a young guy like this, all they've really done is try to catch up to where Demetrius and, and Cruz were in those days. Can they be better? Can it be something more than that? Just, you just, Ian, just remind yourself when you go out who you fought and that how many times you did it.